Today, we're going to be talking about our Jordan Burroughs versus David Taylor results from the event, as well as the controversy surrounding that matchup. Now the headliner, Jordan Burroughs versus David Taylor. Uh, great matchup, but a lot of controversy surrounding it as well. Uh, started off, JB not really being the aggressor, didn't really take a lot of shots first period. While Taylor got to his legs twice, was able to put JB on the clock, get a point from that, and then get a push out to go up 2-0 at the break. And then after the break, they were in like a collar tie position, and then JB just suddenly like went down. Uh, it was obvious he wasn't wrestling, but the ref continued to tell him to wrestle, and uh, Taylor ended up just getting a quick go behind to go up 4-0 at that point. Um, that's where the controversy really is. A lot of people said it's a clear that JB is a wrestling. The side ref also tried to signal to the head ref that he wasn't wrestling to stop the match. But the ref just continued to let them wrestle while JP was just lying on the ground for like 15 seconds. Um, so yeah, t to be honest, I don't really think that should have been a takedown. He obviously wasn't wrestling. Should have just been 2-0 there. Um, I don't see why uh, Taylor should have gotten a takedown there, but he ended up going 4-0 because of it. And then later, JB was really being the aggressor, ended up coming back, getting four push outs to tie the matchup at 4-4, but Taylor ended up winning because of stupid criteria. Um, and he had that one takedown, which is why he was able to win that matchup. Uh, so I know a lot of people didn't want to see it go down the way it did and made a lot of people hate criteria even more than they already did. But uh, yeah, it was, it was a good matchup, but not the way that a lot of people wanted it to go. Uh, but Taylor wrestled extremely well, props to him, uh, and JB wrestled good as well. The next matchup, Jaden Cox versus Nate Jackson. Um, it was looking pretty good for Nate Jackson going into the break. Uh, he was only down by one point against great wrestler Jaden Cox. Uh, but then after the break, Cox just really just went on a tear. Uh, just got a, like a takedown, got like a push out, and then got like a gut wrench to go up. And then he ended up winning the matchup there 6-1. to one. Uh, pretty good matchup. Nate Jackson was wrestling up some way, so um, wrestled pretty good considering that he, he wasn't his normal weight class. Uh, and he could be a force to reckon with at the upcoming Olympic trials. And Seth Gross versus Joey McKenna. This one was a very interesting matchup. I thought Gross was going to win. Uh, he's a great scrambler, and I thought he was going to be able to use that against Joey McKenna. But McKenna just really came out of the gate, just firing, got a takedown, almost got a four point move. Um, but then got the takedown, went up 2-0, and then ended up getting, I think, a gut wrench to go up 4-0. After that, got on a single leg to go up 6-0, and then another shot to make it 8-0. Um, and then Gross really just couldn't get anything going, and McKenna finished off with one last takedown uh, to tech Seth Gross 10-0. Uh, pretty crazy. Gross was wrestling up a weight a bit, so uh, it makes sense why he lost, but I really thought it was going to be a closer match than that considering it was Seth Gross and Joy McKenna. And then Cody Chittum versus Jordan Williams uh, for the who's number one spot, 145 pounds. Uh, Chittum just wrestled extremely well, uh, like I predicted. I thought he was gonna win, but did not expect him to get the tech. Uh, got a push out point, then got a takedown, almost leg lace, Jordan Williams. So was leading 3-0, um, and then got around Williams and then had a huge back arch uh, to go up 7-0, huge four point move. Um, and then to, got a takedown, and then I think got a leg lace to win 11-0 over Jordan Williams. But yeah, that's going to wrap up our video recapping the Jordan Burroughs versus David Taylor event. Uh, overall, pretty good event. Nice card put together by Flo. Props to them. But yeah, it's going to wrap up our video, like I said. If you guys enjoyed and want more wrestling recaps like this, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and sub more wrestling content like this. Peace.